Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the third installation of Combo Breaker. I am Devil May Spy, and this is Darth Arma. What's yes, up, sir? guys? You guys ready for some MKX action? It's been a while. I Maybe you might be sick of Injustice 2 all day, but here we go. Please. Yeah. However, we do have the top 24 for you, so we're getting down to the nitty gritty right now. On stage, we have Big D versus Noble Illusions. We've got Ermac. And, you know, Richard plays too many characters. He's playing Cassie. You know I love some Cassie Cage. I know you love some Cassie Cage. You're all about that Cassie Cage. You know I love Cage. some Cassie Cage. I go by Hollywood DMS and MKX. You got the sunglasses on just because of her. Yes, sir. Normally I wear blue ones, but they don't coordinate with my outfit today. Okay, so just okay. that's important. Ones, that's definitely know? important. It's very important. But Richard plays like five, six characters. Right now he's using Cassie versus Ermac. I guess he feels most comfortable doing that, and I'm not going to object to it at all. No, definitely not. And these guys are just checking buttons, so don't get too excited. They're warming up. It's been ages. Man, it's been ages since I've commentated MKX, but it's I'm really excited. It's been ages since anyone has seen you. Where have you been? Tell the people where you've been, Darn. I've been trying to graduate, finally graduated on Thursday. Got my accounting degree and ready to take on the real world. And here we go. These guys are ready to take on each other. Big D looking for the low, and Cassie connects with the full screen gunshot. And there's the anti air jump shoot into the combo. Very nice conversion. Oh, he's Brawler, Cassie. It's not Hollywood. Here we go, Brawler. That's okay, though. We got command grabs. We got nice Oki situations. And he's keeping Big D in the corner, not letting him escape. He is not dropping anything. Like it down one into Ooh. that very unsafe stuff. Yes. That's a hood perfect. She got chipped. The hood perfect? Yes, sir. <laughs> Illusions looking so strong in the first round, but Big D is a force to be reckoned with. Very much so. His objective is to harass Ermac as much as possible, not let him get any offense started, and just keep the pressure going in the corner. Gunshots cannot avoid any of that chip damage. Nope, he's jailed. And a big change of pace from Injustice 2. MKX is all aggression. Very, yeah, it's super fast pace, run mechanics, and these guys are just constantly berating each other with strings. And I'd like to notice that Big D is using Spectral Ermac instead of Master of Souls. Very interesting choice. This Ermac has a lot of flight mechanics, but Cassie is trying to make sure that he doesn't get in the air anymore. Oh, and Illusions connects with it, giving him the first didn't match. Want didn't want to see it. Nope. All right, what is Big D going to do? Is he going to, did he just want a little breather? Oh, we're, oh, I see Illusions checking his buttons. Really? Not really sure why, but we're going Leatherface. Big D really going to Leatherface? Look at that smile. He just wants to have fun, or he's just going to give us a nice big unknown bag of tricks. He's no, trolling. he's trolling. He's trolling. He's trolling. He's trolling. Use trolling! I'm so upset that we're not gonna. We got. I wanted teased. to see some Leatherface. I, I don't. I don't think you me. actually wanted to see some Leatherface. <laughs> leatherface. Yeah, he wouldn't have been doing much. He's not. Uh, because he doesn't leather, have the skills to pay the bills. Leatherface means more Cassie beatdowns. I guess. Yeah. All right. But let's be serious here. We're into the second game. And once again, nope. Big D did not want Cassie to get her offense started, get corner carry, and deal with that harassment again. Right. Big D trying to get something going, and Illusions just going in there with back 2-1-3. Gunshot does connect, and Big D's trying to float away, not really sure why, and a great Peter Burn move there. Yes. Both players just kind of feeling each other out with their down pokes. And I feel like Illusions is really, is, he's getting hit by every single ground pound. It is a low, and it's just kind of like a weird little, okay, there we go, first one he blocked. Block it again. Once again, Big D's breaking early because he doesn't want to deal with any of that, and he could have been killed. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't want to get shoved in the corner, and unfortunately for him he does, that's but a punish. great punish, and that's a very aggressive break. Yeah, because he would have died as well. Oh, That's and the air-to-air -air check. This is where Spectral Ermac lives in the air, floating around. So many options. Because he does not want to be on the ground with Brawler Cassie. Nobody wants to be on the ground with Brawler Cassie. Very true. Man grabs, overheads, lows, mix-ups. She's got it all. Indeed. She's a very solid character. That's why I love her so much. All 
All right, great turning of the tides by Big D with the back throw. Illusion should have saw it coming. Now he's eating a big corner combo and a hard knockdown. What's Big D going to do? The mix-up. It didn't matter. He went straight into cartwheel. Big D with the perfectly timed enhanced moves, using the armor, getting out of there, and turning this set around, tying it up one to one. I do love the adjustments by Big D. He didn't want to tolerate any aggressive offense initially. If he could, he got out right when he was able to. Yeah, absolutely. Man grab. Because he didn't want to be in this situation. And <laughs> the situation that he's in, can Big D get out of the corner? I believe that was still enough time to punish. Uh oh, Richard dropped the combo. That's the first time we've seen him do that. Jump two, he's back two on two, corner carry, tackle. This is not where Big D wants to be. He's nope. thinking about long term. He wanted to get out of the corner. He didn't want to block that. And Illusions was all over then and just went in there with the meaty stand three. Big D's feeling a little claustrophobic right now. He's trying to jump out. And Richard is not having it. He cannot, he cannot function here. You cannot function in the corner against Brawler Cassie. Just too many options. Do not jump in. Cartwheel kick is still, the flip kick is still a great anti-air. Even though they did nerf it. They did nerf it, it's but it's still, still good. great. It's so fast. The low into overhead, the dirty stuff. Big D does not have the bar to break. What are his options? What can he do in this corner? Can he get out? No. Dead, and that was a brutality, by the way. The beat I just want to point that out. You just want to point that out. <laughs> he did not want to see that. He didn't want those problems. Look well, at Big D. What Salty Big D is the best Big D. What do I do in the corner? What? That is a big reason why I love watching the Versus Gaming stream every Monday with uh, the best talent in Southern Florida. They played Mortal Kombat before, now they're playing Injustice. Of course. And Gross just, just won their premier tournament, their first ooh, open Gross. tournament. Did Gross play in pools yet? Um, he did. He beat Foxy in Injustice. But nice, nice. We're back with the third game here, uh, fourth game here. It's two to one. Noble Illusions. Oh, and a great jump over by Big D, and Illusions just kept swinging for nothing. And that looks like it did hit Cassie right before she actually hit the ground. Big D just trying to feel, feel out Cassie's options, seeing what he wants to do, if he wants to jump at him, stay on the ground. A little too early. Great combo by Big D. Interactable is in play. Is he going to go for it? Use some bar for that armor? No. It's just a battle of patience right now. Cassie wants to open it. Big D is trying to be very defensive, keep her out. Big D is being so patient right now, but for all that for nothing, Cassie has he in the corner. This is where you have no options. Big D does have two bars for a breaker. And Cassie goes for the command grab. And the back throw. Back into the corner. No breaker options here. He wants to get this over with. EX guns to close it out. Did you think Big D tried to jump out there? Big E. Big D. I definitely said Big D. They sound exactly yeah. the same. He definitely tried to jump out in that situation. He wanted to get out. He's just not he's staying here. He lives in this corner, forced to use this breaker. But he's not paying rent, so he's got to get beat down. He's got to get beat down. Cassie needs that rent money. Yes, she does. She's got some $500 shoes. Hard knockdown. And pay attention. Big D backing off. Doesn't want to be anywhere neither. He wants to be at full screen. He wants all these options. He wants, he wants illusions to get desperate and jump at him. And he just wants to check him air to air. Right, he wants Richard to kill himself, but Richard hasn't been doing that. He's been opening up Big D every time. Except the game he lost, obviously. The game he lost, yeah, definitely. Okay, great combo. Two hits, 11%. And Big D takes that round, tying it up. Now, if Illusions can win this, this, is, this entire set is all his. Back one, such a great hitbox. Oh, Big D not quite high enough to avoid that gunshot. Tries to convert, but drops it. See, Richard cannot allow Big D to get comfortable, because that's when it's going to be a problem. When he's feeling it, he's not going to let you touch him. So he's got to harass him, stay in his face, push him back in the corner, make it really hard for him to press any kind of buttons. He's being a little too respectful. Big D running away in the air, using that Spectra only feature. Ooh, nice back dash. I like it. And I agree with the breaker to push him away and get him in the corner. And he didn't have the stamina to continue that, so he tried to jump to the jump four, excuse me. 
Now this corner, unlike many other corners, does have an option to get out, and that's with the tarp on the top. Big D can jump and use the interactable to go back to the middle of the screen. But can Illusions read it when he wants to go for it? No, Big D's not going for it. Instead, he goes for the mix-ups. Oh, and, Ooh, that did it. and Cassie gets the command grab. Big D, such selfie. a great sport about it. Yes, <laughs> they're taking a selfie. You can't see it. This is what we can see. Here we go. Yes. Here's the selfie. Arma, we need to do it, too. I don't think so. Yes, yes. I've never seen that. You're taking the selfie, Can you armor. at least leave my jaw here? No, I don't care if it's your good side or not. We're doing this. We'll smile. Oh, yeah, that's going on Twitter. We got it? All right. That's going on Twitter. <laughs> um, You'll see that shortly on Twitter.com slash Devil May Spy. And we've got advertisements from Paradise Arcade Shop. Save up to 10% off on most items, including the new crown products in various different colors. Look at all Use those buttons. Promo code COMBO2017 at www.paradisearcadeshop.com. The promo ends on 530. Orders won't be shipped until 530. All right, so coming up next, we have Forever King versus Greece's finest, Nevik. Need I just realized he was here, like, <laughs> this morning. You just realized this. <laughs> like, or late last night. Now, Forever, Forever King, the... Forever King's a very solid all-around player uh, in, in terms of all these games. You know, he started at MK9, Injustice 1, MKX, and even he's still having an, an immense amount of success in this early on in Injustice 2. And Nivik has traditionally been a really solid Raiden from Europe always placed in those ESL tournaments. I would watch those, the archives of those, if I was at, if I missed the live broadcast, I'll miss the, I'll watch the archives, and it would be Nivek, Foxy Grandpa, just dominating. I love watching this Raiden, he was very exciting. So he was huge over there, Forever King was huge over here in our tournament circuit, and it's gonna be great to see these two play against each other. I love this, friendships. Facebook ripoff. Oh yeah, I love the comments too. <laughs> I re I've read like 20 different versions of the comments and I have them memorized. Because I make sure to do it. You already know, you know. already know. If I, I know. kill you, that's your favorite. That's you're your getting favorite. selfie, yes. Selfie time. All right, no surprise here. Nivik has his cursor up on Raiden. The most of electrifying Raiden in all of Europe. I see what you did there. And uh, Forever King going with Tremor. I feel like Forever King has so many characters. He plays like 10 in this game. He plays so many characters throughout the, the entire history of MKX. Um, you know, like every game he's played traditionally in the NRS scene, he's had at least five characters. Yeah. At minimum, five characters. Yeah, definitely. This a, game, 10. A slew of no, not, no slouch, no room for slouch pocket characters. Forever King will master them. You will understand how to use them, except for that Sinestro. I don't know what, what was We're not going to talk about that. I remember Can the man. Can we please talk about that Sinestro? Oh, my God. That was four Forever years King ago versus I'm Fantastic. Mad. I'm still Injustice mad about one. that. Injustice 1. Look it up. It's great. <laughs> Cheap plug. <laughs> All right. Forever King. Nevik. Let's get going. Who's going to get that first bar? Forever King goes for a crazy cancel. Waste is the only bar he gets at the start of the match, but... Oh. Does not slow down by any means, just keeps going. And Nivik has a full bar meter already. All right, forced to use that break. Forever King flexing on him. Now, for those of you who don't know, when he is flexed up, he will take one hit, and it kind of just deteriorates very statically. Similarly to Doomsday's trait in Injustice 1. Yeah. So doesn't matter how you hit him, he's always going to have the same amount of static hit stun. Oh, he goes for the throw reset, but Nivik was all over it, uses the interactable in the corner to get out, and he goes right back in, putting Forever King close to the corner. Nice throw set up. Nice throw set up, but I think, I'm not sure if he finished with it, didn't connect fully. I see what he was going for. Yeah, no, definitely. Maybe it's been a while. Too much injustice, too. I don't blame him. Who could blame him? And Forever King looked like he purposely took the hit there, but Nivik had the right string. And even though that that round did not go so great for Forever, for Forever King, he brought it all the way back. All right, Forever King connects with the overhead. Nivik forced to use the break. Going to no part of it. 
another overhead. So just so we can put the trade up. Wait, did I say trade? Trade? It's okay, Injustice. It would be a trade if there was a trade. Right, if he was in Injustice, it would have been a trade. Oh, he goes for the teleport for Forever King was all over it. He knew just to keep blocking. Oh, Forever King reacting to the throws, but Nivik does not stop. He's just going and going, putting him into the corner. Superman. He's got cheese and chip territory. Nivik just ran up and down three. Really, what was Forever King going to do about it? Maybe neutral jump? Maybe. Tremor shaking it off. He's back in there. Goes to the back throw, worried about the positioning. Wants to keep Nivik in the corner. Did that combo from the neutral jump punch? Oh my goodness. 19 hits, only 22%. Now because Forever King had the armor on, he was able to take the hit as a punish and just keep going with the combo. Forever King looking great right now. He's making effective use of the armor. That's what I like most about this. That's that, yeah, you, 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 as a Tremor main, well, not a Tremor main, but he's, he went for it. He wanted the Brutal. <laughs> I respect it. I hope it doesn't cost him, though. That I don't think so. Yeah, I know. It's, it's pretty hard to come back from, with those, down, when you're down to a pixel in a game where strings do so much chip damage. So Forever King wasn't sweating it. He went for the flash, the flashy stuff. And uh, Nivik going to the character select screen. And picking Takeda. Interesting choice here. Not really sure why he's going to go with him. Maybe multiple hitting strings that are, you know, going to punish Forever King when he's all armored up. And I feel like if King loses, he will switch characters as well. That's been King's go-to at the beginning of almost every single round. Armor and run in. Hey, if it works, keep doing it. And no reason not to. Give me a reason to stop. Give me a reason. The respect, the two seconds of respect from both these players. The hard knockdown gives them the opportunity to flex and put on that armor. Uh-oh. Nivik throws down the size, teleports, and Forever King was ready. Yes, he was. I love his patience right now. Nivik forced to use that breaker. That's exactly what you were talking about, the two-hit. Yeah, exactly. Two-hitting string. It's got to be that. He, he, he probably wanted to just deal with Tremor because he, he was getting punished so many times for trying to get that armor off of him. Exactly. Forever King's round, really not much to talk about there. Yes, Nivik needs the switch, however, to no avail. King has been very patient. He recognizes the changes in the matchup. He's executing accordingly with this combo. Jump punch, hard knockdown in the corner, powers up. But Nivik does get the armor off with the down one. Nivik's looking for something, some kind of opening, and there it is with the neutral jump punch. Forever King forced to use the breaker. No one's got stamina. And King is perfectly fine with that. Yeah, King is definitely, he's all about the slow pace, waiting for his opportunity. Throws down the kunais. What was that little shimmy with the block button? Forever King, back up against the wall, but doesn't matter. Charges in with the run. Hard knockdown, doesn't need to flex, so he just gives him a little projectile. He doesn't block the low on the- I'm surprised by that. Nivik can take this round very easily. King jumps in with the armor. There it goes. One down two, one anything will do this for either side. Forever King uses the block breaker. Mm. And Nivik gets the Skunai. Forever King definitely regretting wasting two bars for uh, probably the most unused mechanic in this game. Very, very few situations where a block breaker is really going to help you. Especially with all the patches. Yeah, exactly. It took a lot of that heavy plus pressure out of the game. Mm -hmm. Specifically Kung Lao and Shinox. 
Jivik with the read, knowing Forever King cannot keep his composure and stand still, especially after taking that L. Forever King, hard knockdown, armors up. And here we go, another back-to-back -back rounds of block breakers. He's really trying to make use of it. Ooh, nice back dash. That was beautiful. Forever King trying to flex up and Nivix not having any of it. Was this the right choice to go with Takeda? And how will Forever King respond? Overhead. Overhead again. Nivik is not staying down. And he mixes oh, it up with the low. low. He's got to finish this. Forever he King did. with is the, it the brutality. Back. It's the brutality, Darth Arma. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. And a very nice coordination by Forever King. Lifting his hand up as Tremor just slices Takeda's brain wide open. Mm. That was disgusting. All right, it's two to one Forever King right now. Bringing in with armor. Again, at the start of every round, there's really no reason not to. Because he hasn't done anything about it. I mean, if you know he's just going to do anything, just do a, just multiple strings just right away, back to back, but not sure if it's actually going to work. So King, every time King tries to activate, Nipik is blowing it up right away. Doesn't yeah. want to deal with it. You know, with, with his great long-range normal, just staying right on top of him. Kunai, a great trade for a Forever King, mainly because Takeda went off his feet and Tremor was left in a standing position. Forever King with a nice corner combo. Trades up, opens him up with a low. Now, Nivik's plan made sense in theory, but the execution isn't working out for him. I mean, that last match could have gone either way. It, it went have. seriously down to the wire in the final round. No reason to give up on this character. And I, I agree with Nivik staying with this character. This is a round-based game, so he's not out of this yet. Forever King with the text! The reactions! Do not test this man's reactions! Overhead! Full screen. Flexing up on him, tossing the interactables. That's a great, that wasn't even a trade, just a great connection. Nivik has no bar. Forever King has full super x ray on deck. Hits him with the low. Forward throw. There's, this is pretty much over. This is curtains for Nivik. Nowhere Ooh. he could go. We wanted to see the brutality. No, make him watch. Here we go. Yes. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> oh, Forever King wasn't holding. No. The disrespect. I now now you've got to finish him. No, Forever King's already up. He doesn't need to. I thought that was a great character choice by Nimic. He he was getting somewhere, and it pretty much forced Forever King to, you know, Make adjust, to adjustments. readjust. Yeah, yeah, but definitely. At the end of the day, he got outplayed. That's what it was. He did. It was 3-0. Not too decisive, but... It wasn't bad. No, no, no. Forever King, I mean... He just got outplayed. Forever King was the stronger player in that situation. Forever King, multiple top eights throughout all MKX. Yes, sir. Um, you know, Nivik is a force to be reckoned with in, in Europe, but, you know, everyone else is pretty used to it here. <laughs> and Forever King plays Raiden himself. It's one of his ten characters. Who doesn't he play? <laughs> Let's see. Off the top of my head, Kung, okay, Kung okay, Jin, okay. Kung Lao. Okay. okay. I'm not going to go through It's everyone. Lines. It's everyone. We'll go um, the whole list. Fine. But coming up, we got Foxy Grandpa versus Flowchart. Is that really his name? It's right there. It's Flowchart. <laughs> oh, man. I respect that. Um, Foxy Grandpa, another European. Who do you think he picks? Flowchart. With that name. Who's the most Flowchart character in this game? Why don't you tell me that? I might be offended if he picks Cassie. You're going to be. So whoever he <laughs> picks is the most Flowchart character in this game. Yes. Officially. That's, we're doing it right now. No, Flowchart had a very uh, impressive Black Adam, and that's why it's funny because it's he's correct. Black, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and in Justice Two, he's definitely correct. <laughs> so that just, just speaks volumes on on. The suspense is killing me, Darth Arma. It's okay. It's not that much pressure. It's not a big deal. But Foxy Grandpa, uh, Evo runner-up for the first year, losing to Sonic Fox, which is definitely. Nothing to be ashamed about. Now, Foxy recently picked, like, not recently, but within the last year, he's been playing Molina. Um, but he's going back to his old trusty Kung Lao. So, Flowchart is definitely using Ermac. It's not what I expect. I'll be honest with you. It wasn't one of the characters I no. was expecting. Maybe this was before he named himself Flowchart. Oh, yeah. He named himself Flowchart just for Injustice 2. He's so, like, I'm going to send a message. Pick Black Adam. 
and just turn my brain off. But let's see. We've got Mystic Ermac versus Tempest Lau. Tempest Lau. This is not a button check. This is very serious stuff because you saw that tech. As we were discussing about the patches, um, Tempest Lau had a lot of pressure with his hats, about plus 27, and he could just do the string. If he had three bars, you just have to sit there and hold that. Um, they did nerf the frames on that, so he no longer has that kind of pressure, but he's still a solid character. Right now, Foxy Grandpa's putting on a clinic, destroying Flowchart in the corner, keeping him there, and ending it with a throw. Of course he's gonna keep him in the corner. Foxy Grandpa, ladies and gentlemen. And that's just the first round. Yes, it was. Flowchart trying to fight his way out. Catches Foxy not blocking and trying to make some aggressive moves. And Flowchart turning this around so far. See, he cannot allow Foxy to get comfortable and get bullied by his unwound pressure. Because he's really, really good at that. Oh, great reaction by Flowchart with a down three. And Foxy Grandpa makes his way in. Big damage in the corner. You best believe we're going to end with a hard knockdown. Oh, Foxy Grandpa a little too slow. No, I'm sorry, a little too early. Flowchart's looking a lot better in this round. Finishes Three. it. Nothing nice Foxy could have done in that situation. Yeah, Flowchart turning it all the way around, back to back, going blow for blow against Foxy Grandpa. And armored launchers are no more. No more armored launchers. No, sir. Foxy Ooh, Grandpa nice teleport. with the teleport. Into the corner, into the combo. Are we going to end with a hard knockdown? Yes, we are. And again, just like in the situation on the other side of the screen, he wakes up with the same lift. Yes, sir. He knows Foxy's going to go meaty with the 1-1. One -one. Great block of the overhead by Foxy Grandpa. Getting a little too overzealous there. And Flowchart turning this around. Foxy has no bar. What can he do? Absolutely nothing. And he goes straight to restart match, not going to character select screen. Flowchart doing a great job of ignoring that first round of complete domination. That was impressive for Mac Boy. Okay, Foxy whiffs it out this time. There are these the adjustments he needs to make. Look at this corner carry. Hard knockdown, but not right next to him. Now let's see if Foxy knocks him down. Oh, look, the patient. The reset. I was just about to say. If he knocks him out, is he going to go for the meaty setup again or just wait for the wake up? Foxy Grandpa with the stand for four conversion. No breaker yet for Flowchart. He's got to hold this. Hard knockdown. What are we going to see? Throw? Yep. Oh, I saw it he coming. Knew. Flowchart did it. <laughs> he did not press a button on his wake up again. He's respecting it. Okay, in the lift, Foxy back Grandpa with the downtown overhead. That is back two. Oh, he did it that time. The stagger strings by Foxy Grandpa. But he certainly made Flowchart think twice about it. Going for the media again. Oh, this time he texts the throw. And he texts the throw again. And he just got, he, he was done. It was done. It that was, was a over. Completely different game. That was a different game. A lot faster, but that's that's pretty much what it is. When you slow down the pace just a little bit, it's definitely in Ermac's favor. He he wants to slow down the pace of this matchup. Right. And Kung Lao just wants to go in, hit you with overheads, hit you with throws. It's similar to the Ermac casting matchup we saw earlier. Flow Shark's doing a way too much low blocking. All right, buys himself some a little bit of real estate, and Foxy puts it back in the corner, but oh. he drops the stand for four conversion. That's gonna cost him big time. This should be Foxy's round. He's really gonna kick himself if he has to use any meter or doesn't win this round. Or the X-ray for that matter, which will kill. Oh, he throw. He gets the throw. The and Foxy Grandpa clutches it out without having to use a breaker, not using any of his meters, so that drop really didn't come to bite him but too it bad. Have. It could have. It, it could have easily. Oh. Did he know the throw was coming? Foxy Grandpa with the teleport throw, meter uh, enhances it for the combo conversion. And he's really trying to push him into the corner to get his aggressive pressure started. The dive kick. Hard knockdown. And he runs him slightly runs him closer to the corner. Now Grab. he's in there. What's he going to do? No meaty setup. He was blocking. He 
does have a breaker. Can he use it for the last hit? No, Foxy stops and goes for the throw instead. And I feel like a brutality would have been coming. Foxy usually does that as a signature, telling people to learn from this. Oh, nice back dash. Barely gets out of that range of the back two. We don't want to get hit by that overhead. So Grandpa with the throw. Tosses him a little bit closer to the corner. That's definitely where he wants to keep him. Oh, Foxy finds his opening, but no. drops his combo. Okay, so he got the 4-4 this time, but then he didn't and, get the run back three. And he drops the easy part. <laughs> <laughs> the stand 4-4 is definitely the hard part. They made it easier, actually, oh, the recent they? patch. Okay. Yes, they did make it easier. But that time he dropped the run cancel. And right. the spacing awareness by Flowchart just baiting out the down four and punishing him for it. And so Flowchart ended up punishing the dropped combo this time. He didn't do it last time, and he got the round. So Foxy has to be very careful about finishing his combos. All right, from downtown, a nice push from Ermac. Ermac with the hard knockdown goes for the overhead, but Foxy successfully blocks his. <laughs> Looking for something. Get back, Foxy Grandpa. I have, I have souls helping me. Overhead, Foxy Grandpa stand for four conversion this time, and he gets the easy part. Hard knockdown. No hat, just runs in for the pressure. Stand 4-4 again, gets the combo. This is gonna end in a hard knockdown. Foxy can do whatever he wants here. Goes for the down four. Flowchart hits the overhead. Oh my goodness. This is strip territory. Damage. He had to do it. He had to do he it. He had no choice. Yeah. Flowchart is really solid. Flow I'm impressed. This is my first time seeing him. I like what I see right now. Flowchart tying it up two to two, and this is technically the lead for Flowchart. Can Foxy grab a come from this? The throw tech! Foxy has to play perfectly to get this match. Because Flowchart has been capitalizing on most of his mistakes. Oh, the, the very, very unsafe stuff. The dive kick mm, and the down no two. Punish. I feel like that's the first down two I've seen this entire set. Corner, great block by Foxy Grandpa. And he finally gets his way out, but he drops the stand 4 4 conversion. Great anti air by Foxy with the spin. Oh! Miscalculated that spacing. He wanted to break. He didn't want any part of that. He just wants to finish this round right now. He, he did want all his resources. He doesn't care. He did, but at least Flowchart forced him to do it. He forced him to use his bar. Foxy not even on one bar yet. Going in with stand 4 4. Look at the execution. Foxy Grandpa all over that knew he was going to wake up with lift. Now Foxy needs to throw everything, including the kitchen sink at him. Hard knockdown, no hat, going in for the mix up instead. Looking to stuff some armor. Just the close out. And then there's the mistake that was punished. All right, Flowchart is still in this. He cannot let Foxy breathe, he cannot give him anything. Foxy gets out. This is pretty much, he goes for the very, very unsafe stuff, and Flowchart's still fighting himself in the corner because he teleported into the corner. Yeah, he teleported himself into the corner. Foxy Grandpa drops the game-winning combo. Oh, no. Is Flowchart going to take this? Is he going to steal this from Foxy Grandpa? jump. If he does, it'll be the third time. Foxy gets the conversion but in the air, and he has it. Are we going to see the brutality? Yes, we, we are. are. We're Let's not going to see it, it, but we're no, going to see it. Okay, We're good. gonna see it. We're on point. Learn from this. That was a really good set. Yes, it was. Fulchar was so close to taking that round from Foxy off the drop combo. A lot of drop stand 4-4s. Four I don't like it. I don't like it at all. At least he got the job done, though. <laughs> he did, he did. He's got, he's got, got the job. rest of the tournament to warm up. Ooh. And who oh. do we have coming up to the stage? Yomi Reunion? Slayer versus DJT. Oh my goodness. MK9 EVO champion, Injustice 1 EVO runner-up. You dropped everything. All right, guys, now check out XSplit. Get a 10% discount with the code CBREAKER. And Combo Breaker is powered by XSplit, so give them a shout-out. Give them anything you can.
Slayer versus DJT. I cannot wait for this. I haven't seen these guys play in so long. You know, these guys used to live together pretty much for an entire year, That's maybe correct. a little bit more. That's correct. And they dominated with Sonic Fox. It was like Sting versus the NWO. Yomi versus Sonic Fox. So Yomi was like the NWO? Yes. Okay. I yes. can see that. I can respect that. Um, Always in top eight. Slayer, a little... I feel like he was, especially in the beginning of MKX, he was always seen as the crazy aggressive player you know That's he correct. really couldn't turn on the patient and it was it was so fitting for a game like mkx except when you ran into certain matchups or even into certain into certain players players that were good at slowing down the pace and trying to fill you out but slayer was just always like constantly on 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 just attack 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 and in a game like mkx where they reward you so high with so much meter for every string that your opponent blocks it's perfectly fitting for a player like slayer but I feel like over that the, the course of MKX, he's kind of learned to to embrace, to calm down. yeah, yeah, to embrace that, defensive. but also calm down. Yes, and you know it's funny because DJT is the exact opposite hey, of true. Slayer's exactly. old mentality. That's very true. He's chill. He can sit there and hold down back. Well, not down back. Slash Street Fighter. He can sit there and hold down or back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or block in this in, in this game. Yeah. It's block. <laughs> There's a block button. There's and a block button. He can sit there and block all day. He will time you out. He's been doing that since MK9 when he plays sub That's true. If He'll you sit there behind a cone. If you want to see patience, you see DJT versus Rio at Evo. Oh, my God. Waiting for his one moment to just open up Cabal and destroy him with Cyrex. You will see <laughs> what what true patience is in a game. And even, even MK9 was a game where it just – it, it – it rewarded the aggressor so heavily, and that's why it does in MKX. But Denzel's been consistent throughout his entire gaming career since MK9, through MKX, and now in Justice 2. He's very patient. Played Green Lantern in Justice 1, and he's playing Trimmer in MKX right now. Played Kung Lao. And Slayer going with Shaolin Kung Jin. That was his original character. That oh, was no, no, I'm sorry. Bujitsu was, but he's been with Kung Jin since day one. That's true, yeah. Definitely. He switched to Shaolin like a year into the game. It's funny because some Cuban guy, uh, he's also from the Florida stream, twitch.tv slash PSGC. And not he's, actually just some Cuban guy. His name is some His Cuban name guy. is some Cuban guy. You know, some for, Cuban for guy. For the politically correct people that may be offended by that statement, that is his gamer tag. He said from day one, guys, Shaolin is going to be the go-to variation. You just watch. People use Bojitsu because it's easy. But Shaolin is going to take over once people become more solid in this game. And Slayer did it, and then the rest of the Kung Jin mains followed suit. Yeah, no, uh, the, the disc is such a great option to have even on hit or block. You're in a great situation. And Slayer putting DJT in the corner, opening him up with the overhead. And DJT correctly blocks that and chases Slayer's back dash all the way down to the middle of the screen. And Slayer pressing buttons, checking DJT. DJT wants nothing to do with him, trying to keep him at bay, keep him back. DJT with the armor, and Slayer waking up with armor of his own with the cartwheel. No reason not to. Slayer is just waiting for his opportunity. And down one. Down one doesn't really get Slayer much. He did connect on it, but DJT was ready to swing for some reason. DJT is one of the best, if not the best, at capitalizing off of mistakes. He's excellent at conditioning you. And the overhead stomp. DJT bullying Slayer. Not letting him go anywhere. And Slayer finds breathing room with that neutral jump punch. And buys himself a little bit of real estate. Both players in the middle of the screen. No corner in sight yet. DJT. You may have spoken too soon. A little too soon. This is DJT's match. And Slayer <laughs> woke up with the flying kick. He had to. He had he to. He's pretty much out of options. There. <laughs> oh, he did the Bernie. That's such a throwback. That is a huge How throwback. Old that was six years ago. That was oh MK9 God. MLG, yes. We are Bernie. so old now. We are old. Slayer looking for that first hit with the down one. DJT not giving him anything, and he gets it there. Now in this game, when you do get first hit, you get awarded a full bar of meter. Well, not full bar, but just one third of a bar. One third of full. And 
into the corner we go. Hard knockdown. Yeah. Neutral jump kick. Cartwheel. Not punishable, but DJT does get the opportunity to start pressing buttons. Keeping Slayer here. When is Slayer going to neutral jump punch? Because he will do it. No! He gets out for free. No meter required. DJT stops Slayer in his tracks. Stops him in the run mechanic. DJT is so excellent at baiting you into making a mistake so he can capitalize. Shocking the boulder. He makes you kill yourself. DJT really no reason to put himself at risk. He's just kind of sitting back, building bar for the next, building meter for the next game, exactly. for the next round. He knows he has it in the bag. So again, he's just going to make Slayer come to him and kill himself. But right now, DJT's finding himself very close to the corner. Can Slayer come in and capitalize on this? Abuse him now that his back is up against the wall. Slayer not really moving, but <laughs> just like that, just like a light switch, he turns it on and goes for the very unsafe meter burn dive. Slayer's finally getting some offense started. Mm, and I love the jump back one. Nice Slayer. Roll. Absolutely impressive. That's Turning what it, Slayer wants to do. It was this, this was the hood perfect. Yes, indeed. <laughs> DJT just made tricked. him block. Just made him block. That's it. Now, Slayer, he doesn't want DJT to press buttons. He's just going to try to stay aggressive. If he has an opening, he's taking it. He's tired of being on the defensive end. Like that. And a great back one by Slayer. Gets him with the low. DJT's finding himself in a bad spot right now. Does he want to let Slayer tie it up? Cartwheel, DJT with the patience. Not moving, not doing anything. DJT can turn this around. He's got to make Slayer make the mistake like that. Looks like Slayer was going for a button that was a, just a little too slow. And the wake up Cartwheel. Can Slayer take this back? Can he take the momentum? Ooh, nice run out. He's being very patient. DJT pressing all the buttons, and Slayer's not doing anything. There's his down once. Oh, he got him. He got him with Quake. He got him with, he jumped, and Slayer was ready to block the overhead. And he said, he's coming down, and he's going to hit me with the overhead, and he cancels into the low. Hold on, we got fatality. We got a fatality. We got a fatal. Watch it, watch it. Mm, make it clap. There goes your head. That was disgusting. It still is. Look at the blood milking out of his neck. It's hole. still coming. Will it ever stop? <laughs> no. I feel like eventually it would have to stop, but this is MKX, so it's never going to stop. Of course not. The animation's ne on repeat. <laughs> never going to stop. Now Slayer just needs a minute to look at the screen. And Slayer did a great job that last round. He, That could have easily been his. He... I can't even sit here and tell you what Slayer did wrong in that matchup in terms of what kind of mentality he should have had. DJT just clutched it out. He went with one crazy play at the end <laughs> with the fake neutral jump punch. He knew it. And he did that. <laughs> it was so, so dirty. Slayer trying to jump in right at the gate. It's just DJT is using Slayer's weaknesses to his advantage. He knows Slayer wants to be aggressive. He knows Slayer does not like to be cornered and be on the defensive end. He like, knows Slayer likes to press buttons. So he's going to force Slayer to press a button that gets punished. And then he's going to punish accordingly and probably take the round with a big combo. Now look at what he's doing right now. This is where he's going to be able to see. See, there you go. Right there. Right there, Just as DMS called it for us. And that's guaranteed damage. Is that still guaranteed after the patch? The hard knockdown into... I want to say uh, yes. Unblockable shake. It looks like it is. I, I don't yes. think it does as much damage. But it just they, they, Yeah, I think they have to just have it. Now to chip them out. All right, Slayer gets the trade, and I don't think that's a very favorable trade for Kung Jin in that situation. Uh, Tremor gets a little bit more from the Rolling Rock. Look at the style from DJT. Eats the cartwheel from Slayer. Slayer oh. with the back one, but doesn't convert into a full combo. DJT ready to take advantage of the mistake. No conversion from Slayer, a little too far away. DJT with the forward throw, Ooh, ending it with a brutal. Broke his legs, and the ending was censored, unfortunately, by Slayer. It's okay, that oh, round goodness. was so, that, that, that last match was so much faster than match number two. Match number two, Match number two had me super, super 
on the edge of my seat. And we've got 10% off store-wide at ADARC. Free shipping in the United States with the code CB2017. ADARC is the sponsor of Combo Breaker. Yeah, that was a very, very intense second match. I really wish Slayer kept that confidence and the momentum going into the third into the third one. I think he could have turned it around, but I felt like it was just him was kind of giving up. He was shaken up, especially when you're that close to, to obtaining that win. Or yes, or you're so close to he was. tying it up against a player like DJT, and he just got a little discouraged and just stopped. But coming up for you guys, we have twins. Twins? No, they're not twins. No, just kidding. <laughs> the Echo Fox, Scar, and Method Silver Eye. Silver Eye Method. and Scar. Do you think Scar is going to go smoke? I would. I don't mind. You know, I like watching both of his characters. I like Sonya. I like uh, all variations of Sonya and his smoke. They're both very entertaining to watch, as well as Silver Eye's Liu Kang. I like, you know, I like aggressive pressure characters. Oh that's true, that's true. Yes, sir. So I don't mind. I think it's you. Either one's cool with me. But it will be a very interesting matchup because they'll just both be going at each other's heads. Should be nonstop pressure depending on who's selected <laughs> and which variation. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I, I am a huge fan of Scar Smoke, though. I really hope he takes out Smoke. Sonya's okay. I guess she's hype. Is she hype? You don't Can like Demolition Sonya? I don't think it. no. Really? No, like, not fun. I like seeing him drop bombs. Not fun I to like watch. Seeing drop I'd bombs rather see hype. Smoke. And Silver Eye, I feel like he came into the, you know, he came into the, into the realm of success rather late, later, rather later than earlier in the MKX scene. But he made his mark. Uh, a lot of he people, did. yeah, a lot of people know him. They very familiar with his Liu Kang. Very He's familiar got some with that great pressure. placements. Oh yeah, he plays oh, yeah. top eight in ADC. Yeah, he beat Forever King Sub Zero. Mm -hmm. I saw that myself in the crowd. That was very entertaining. He's using smoke. Oh he is using smoke. yes. We got smoke, but the where there's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> Liu Kang versus smoke. And there's literally fire because there's Liu Kang. And I, but I feel like the track record of these guys, these players, typically does go to Scar. Scar, I can't think of a, a situation where, where Silver Eye has taken out Scar, but today could be that day. Never say never. Remember when Sonic Fox was up on tournaments like 13-0 on Dragon? And then he beat him at final round. You it was a really, really bad streak. Really bad streak. Like, when, when they sit down in grand finals, it was a foregone conclusion that Sonic Fox would win. It was that bad. That's true. Yeah, it's he like, was why are his, we even watching this? He was his demon. Right. And then it, he just overcame him at final round. It was huge. But here we go. Star versus Silver Ride. Button checks over. Aggressive Liu Kang is on the way. Corner carry. Silver Eye getting it going, go over the cancel, and Scar reacts, but it doesn't matter. Silver Eye is not letting up, this hitting like him with the Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail again. Now it's Scar's turn. Here we go, mix up City. Oh, he oh goes for the in. Low. Not really sure if he was. He, it seemed like he was so committed to the punish there. He teleported in front of him, and he was. He knew he's like, this is going to punish, right? No. Not with that recovery. Use the jump punch for the conversion. Where did What's he the go? Mix up? Where you did he go? Him. The mix-up is you can't see him. Road. That's it. <laughs> Luckily, this game is a, has a block button. You don't have to guess left or right. Right. Oh, that would be awful. <laughs> and Silver Eye getting it going, bringing him closer and closer to the corner. Dragon Tail, look how plus he is on hit. He can do literally anything he wants. He can throw him. He can just keep bullying him, or he can bait out anything. Great tech by throw, a great throw tech by Scar. But down two, nothing, nobody's home. Scar was ready for it. He came down on him. Can we make this comeback? It's possible. Can Echo? If he guesses wrong twice. Can Echo Fox out. guard? No. Ooh, he's out. He didn't want any part of that. No. <laughs> Sending him all the way across the Deadwoods. No. Nope. Silver Eye taking the first match. That's the stop button. Gets the grapple. Are we going to see the mix up? Silver Eye getting stuff straight out of meter burn something or enhanced version of any move. 
And the overhead connects against Scar. Scar looking for something. And again, just a simple overhead, keeping him down. And Silver Eye. Silver Eye trying to go somewhere, and Scar is not having any part of it. Uh oh, that's punished. That's a super punishable teleport. Silver Eye taking advantage of it. Poking him back with down three. Nice down one. Interrupt the teleport. Goes in with the bicycle kick. Meter burns to make it safe. Opens him up with the low. This is anyone's game right now. This is anyone's round right now. And this is going to be, this is going to set the moat. <laughs> Back throw. <laughs> I was going to say anything was going to take it. A hit, a block string, something. Both so players hard. using the interactables, jumping into the sky. The slide from downtown. Scar looking for looking for some kind of connection with the smoke. Yeah, Scar's really struggling to get the mix-up started in this match. Uh-oh, he dropped the uh, incident fireball. But Scar's struggling to get his consistent mix-ups consistently started here. Scar's getting his combos going, jumps over to the other side, teleports to put Liu Kang a little bit closer to the corner. Excellent blocking by Silver Ride. Excellent blocking and excellent use of the opportunity that Scar presented for him. But Scar's not ready to give up this round. He's not ready to give up this match. Not but at all. As you can see, he's blinking, so he's one throw away. Oh my away. god. And the brutality. Who off? The brutality from Silver Ooh. Eye. Does Scar have to go to Demolition Sonia? I think so. And reverse 3 0. I think so. Silver Eye. Is this what he we're going to see? Yes, this switch. Silver Eye was very comfortable in that matchup. No. Oh my goodness. We're staying smoke. smoke. Just keeping smoke. I don't. I don't necessarily agree with that. You don't agree with this? You don't think he can do this? I mean, I'm not going to say he can't. But say it. Say he can. Say he can. I would like to see Sonya just because the way the match is going. Silver Eye was just too comfortable against Smoke. Who are you, his coach? <laughs> no, no. Um, I'm pretty sure Scar can still do this. Those matches weren't too bad. Oh, yeah, we've seen uh, two old leads get blown up constantly. Speaking of blown up, here comes the meter, the enhanced bicycle kick. I don't know where that enhanced dragon tail was going, but it wasn't going to connect with Scar. Scar keeping him in the corner, and he throw resets. The barrage of punches from Smoke. Dra Dra oh, that, that move is such a great move. How do you stop him? How do you stop Luke Kang from doing it over and over and over again in any typical situation that he gets himself in? Scar's gonna find a way. He has no choice. That's why he's a top three player in the world. Great cancels by Silver Eye. Silver Eye taking this pixel and going so far with it. Even if he doesn't win this round, he forced he, he forced Scar to use the he took it. He took he the whole thing. Unnecessarily. He took the he whole punished. thing. <laughs> With 6% of health left. He took the whole thing. He's definitely in Scar's head right now. Oh, yeah. You know, just like every other round, Scar started off great, but just somehow lost it. And that's a big drop by Silver Eye. He wanted to cancel the flame. Scar backing up to keep him in the corner. Goes to the reset, and Silver Eye successfully blocks. Forward throw. It is Silver Eye's turn to put on his aggression, to put on his clinic. He can't. He. I don't know if that was a drop. If that was a drop cancel, but it did help him out in the end. Hey, it worked out. This is going to hurt. Look at that damage. Look and Scar it. does not have anything to break. This is going to be Silver Eye's match. All he has to do is just touch him. Uh oh. That town yeah, too. Liu Kang has one of the best down twos, uppercuts in this game. That was pretty decisive. I did say I want to see smoke. Maybe maybe yeah, I shouldn't have said it's that. It's all your fault, Darth. This is my fault. It's all your fault. Told you Demo Sonya's hype. You didn't believe. I like smoke better. There's like nothing There's nothing wrong with some smoke play. If he, if he sees him and loses again, I feel like he's going to pull out Sonya. It's going to be all business? Mm -hmm. Just Strictly all business? business. 
Okay, I could see that. I could definitely see that. But Silver Eye, again, like, like, like we said going into this, he is, he is definitely a very well-known and successful player. But I don't know. Can we blame it on a little too much Injustice 2? Can no. we say that? I mean, No excuse. No excuse. No excuse. No, but no, seriously. He got outplayed. <laughs> Three games in a row. But Scar really is usually the dominant player in that situation. And He's the top three player in the world. Silver Eye is not. This is a fact. However, definitely in this right here, right now, he got outplayed, and there are no excuses. All right, and coming up for you guys, we have Biohazard, Canada's finest play NRS. Can we say one of Canada's finest NRS players? Yes, one of them, because his brother is also a top NRS player as well. And he's going to be going up against Tekken Master. And Justice 1, Honeybee, that will be Honeybee, for those who don't know. Um, Honeybee was excellent in Justice 1, had some great placements, had some tournament wins. And uh, MKX, he won a lot of money. That's when the money started coming. He won a ton of money in MKX, a lot of top four placements. He was right in there. A lot of people didn't talk about this during the time because the narrative was usually Yomi versus Sonic Fox. But Honeybee was right in that top eight. He was right in that mix-up. He's usually fourth, if okay. not third. He was always in the top eight with Yomi and Sonic Fox, and he didn't get enough love. He did. He was vocal about that. I acknowledged it, you, but a lot of people don't that? talk about that. I, d I think he was overlooked. Like, we know he was there, but people only talked about the narrative of Yoni, Yomi versus Sonic Fox. There wasn't as much discussion about Honeybee. But enough about Biohazard's brother. Let's talk about Biohazard. Let's talk about Biohazard and yes. Tekken Master. And Tekken Master got second at EVO. Second at EVO, runner-up again losing to Sonic Fox. Nothing to be ashamed about, but... No, not at all. Tekken Master. Going with uh, Shinnok. And Biohazard going with Kano. Is Ferritor not, not, you know, not in play anymore? I, I'm not really sure what the changes were with the patch, but I really was a fan of Biohazard's Ferritor. My body boys. Well. But he must know something we don't. And that's why he switched over to Kano. You know what? Now, now that I'm actually thinking about it, it's, it's a terrible matchup against Shinnok. Shinna can keep Ferritor far, far, far away with, with orbs. But I've seen Biohazard play horrible matchups throughout his entire MKX career. Maybe he I guess he's just fed up. He doesn't want to deal with it. He doesn't want to deal with it. Oh, and the up Kano ball. Biohazard on the brink of defeat in that first round, setting the tone for this set. And Tekken Master just running in. Doesn't convert from the down one. Biohazard getting a full combo. Cybernetic Kano has the best zoning out of all the Kanos. Unfortunately, does not have an overhead. Just has to play solid. No mix-ups here, just play solid. And that is a 16% throw after the trans. Great patience by Biohazard, but he just kind of goes in there, doesn't really, doesn't really anticipate the throw. Forced to use his breaker, or not really forced. He could have held onto it for the next round, but Biohazard wants to close this out right here, right now. Keep the momentum going. Just try to zone out, just keep Shinnok back. Trades. Oh, he barely whiffs the throw. Again, and look at how much life he's winning by. Biohazard. The same exact amount as last time. Look at his face. How do you stay that composed after winning by that little? Bio now, we talked up Honeybee, but Biohazard is no slouch himself. He has mo a multitude of top eight placements in both Injustice and MKX. That's why he is indeed a top NRS player of Canada. You know what? He's a top NRS player of North America. We have to give I him that say credit. That. Oh, absolutely. We don't need to discriminate Definitely. by country. I mean, He's we, a it's, top player It's here. fun to, but we're not going to. All right, and I don't agree with this. Tekken Master. <laughs> Using Devora. Why would he do that when Honeybee plays Devora? Uh, but that is his main. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing around. Now Tekken Master, very solid Devora player. However, Biohazard is familiar with the matchup because his brother does indeed play Swarm Queen Devora. And of course, they train with each other. That's why they're both excellent players. Yes, excellent players with the the, the privilege of living with another excellent player. It, that, that's got to be great. That's huge. That's why Yomi was so dominant for a year. You had eight to 10 people in the same house training with only each other. Just getting stronger and stronger and just dominating competition. Uh-oh, and here's the big damage, boys. Not only big damage. Oh, but he drops the combo. Biohazard was all over it, ready with his finger uh -oh, on the that's trigger. Punished. That is getting punished. Uh-oh, is he going to drop hurt. it again? 
He drops oh, it again. he dropped it. He dropped the cancel and he got an uppercut to the face he as a I, reward. I know you're playing Injustice 2. I know you're going to drop this. You are out of practice, sir. Okay, let's see. Third time's a charm. Is he going to drop it? No. Successfully hits the run cancel. Neutral jump punch. Puts Biohazard into the corner. Now this is where Tavora really, really wreaks havoc on you. Biohazard getting tossed. Too scared to press buttons, but does a jump and down cano ball. No problem. Oh, Biohazard recognizes the cancel, or the, the, the lack of cancel there in that situation. Yes, sir. There's down. another uppercut. He's actually looking for it. Down to trade. Biohazard one throw away from losing this round. And Tekken Master gets on the board, gets his first round using Devora. Oh, the jump in perfectly timed. Uh -oh. No! He got hit by that puddle anyway. The puddle! The puddle is too strong! The puddle is so strong in the corner. And this is where Biohazard's gonna live. This is gonna hurt. Throw. Yes. Keeping him here. Biohazard can't go anywhere. Look how much damage he's taken. I heard that wake up was bad. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, and the brutal Jesus. Tekken Master proving me wrong. Spice half of his face off. That tail. Biohazard's like, wow, I should know how to deal with this. I should know how to deal with this. Different styles, man. Different styles, but he knows he ha he knows what's at her disposal. It's how true. many hours do you think he spent playing against Devora? Not only just Devora, but one well, of the best Devoras in the world. And this specific variation as well. However, Tekken Masters, that's a great player, man. He is, no doubt about it. You don't get second at Evo by being a bad player. Right, you can know everything he's doing and he can still outplay you. Oh, but that, that doesn't mean. Oh, oh, punish. That does not mean that Biohazard is counted out, ladies and gentlemen. The score is one to one. One to one, but this is looking pretty free as the bee swarm his face. Uh-oh, he's getting comfortable right now. He hasn't dropped anything yet. There's the down four. And the back throw, and Tekken Master says, no! You are not throwing me back into the corner. This is oh, your corner. Oh, he went corner. for a throw while he was ducking. No, sir. That will not work. The Kano ball. Biohazard goes for the throw. Again, Tekken Master so on point with checking all these throws. How does he know? How does he know which direction oh, he's trying to throw in? The disrespect. I know that's not a buffer. That that's, wasn't a buffer. That's not a buffer. We can see their faces. He was laughing. He was laughing. All right, Puddle. Biohazard has no choice but to respect it. No, he's going in with the advancing mids. Oh, the throw again, Tekken Master. Why? Why is he so good at taking every throw that Biohazard has tried, that he's attempted? It's like he knows where he's going to throw, when he's going to throw, before even Biohazard does. Caught him with the left hook. That down oh, two down trade. Two interrupted. All right, Biohazard shaking off the nerves, coming back, tying up the match one round apiece. From town town, Tekken Master, no respect. And the run cancels, they're successful. Tekken Master drops the combo, but it didn't matter. She recovered way faster than it looked like she should have. Oh yeah. Biohazard keeping the pressure on with those EX knives. Full combo corner. Full combo in the corner. How's he gonna end it with the throw? That's two to one. Two to Tekken one. Tekken Master made some strong adjustments. Can he do this? Can he do this? Biohazard not switching. He's sticking with Kano. He knows he can deal with this. He knows what's in front of him. He knows what obstacles are ahead. Tekken Master didn't really get the run cancel he wanted. Biohazard going in, leaving him standing in the Ooh, corner, so checking him with a low. Down four. Down close four to close it out. Another hood perfect. 
Can I say Kano has probably one of the better down pours in this game? Or yes. one of the best? Not saying uh, one of the best? Uh, better? One of the better? I, I don't know, man. That's a great down pour. It's pretty fast, great hitbox. Let's see Johnny Cage, Shinnok. Okay, okay. <laughs> one of the better. There, there we go. Are we going to punish <laughs> this? No, Biohazard drops it! That wake up is a bill! I've heard it so many times! Blocking puddle. Tekken Master making his way in with the down three. And Biohazard out of danger, putting Tekken Master in the corner. Hard knockdown. This should be Biohazard. No, he uses the interactable to escape, but it doesn't matter. Biohazard homes in Ooh. and finishes his play. Ooh, that was a completely different game. Two, two to, to two. two. Is he changing characters? Tekken Master changing characters. Where is he going? Is he going back to Shinnok? Is he a crazy man? He, sh he sh switched I mean, away from Shinnok. He only lost by one hit both rounds. So it's not like he got blown up. But how rare but is that to switch away from your character and then switch back and actually win? It is rare. It is rare. I'm sure that's an opportunity. That's, a, that's, 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 that's an event that probably never, ever happens. It's not like he was doing poorly with Shinnok, so I'm not mad at the switch. It's very interesting. We'll see how it goes. He's putting it all on the line with but this just, with this Shinnok. It's just getting the from switching the mindset of the characters is my thing. Going from Shinnok to Devorah, Devorah back to Shinnok, you know? You know what it might have been, too? Is Tekken Master realized that those Devorah can't, he's not on super on point with the run cancels from Devorah. Maybe he just doesn't want to leave that to chance again. I could see that. Biohazard. But Biohazard's looking comfortable. Or was looking comfortable. Which a jump punch from Shinnok for the conversion. Now what's the mix up low overheader throw? And there's a low. Tekken Master using the Kano ball that he stole. Hitting him with the overhead after teleport. Oh, oh nobody's home the throw. for the throw. And Tekken Master. He's still one, looking good with Shinnok. One round away. Oh, the down two! Biohazard all over it! Reacting correctly as the great player that he is. Oh, nice down two on that teleport. He was waiting for it. Not giving him any room. Not giving him anything. Go ahead, teleport. That's your only way in. And I'm gonna down two you, says Biohazard. It's like he knew he wasn't gonna meter burn it. He knew. No down two. Very, very low to the ground teleport by Tekken Master. Good stuff. Biohazard blocks correctly. Gives him enhanced moves of his own. Hard knockdown with the cannonball, but he backs off. He wants nothing to do with it. He was waiting for it. Tekken yes, Master just giving it to him, feeding him damage. And if he wasn't waiting for it, his reactions are ridiculous. Tekken Master gave him that round with three or four easy teleports into down two. Down four. One of the better down fours in the game. Is that okay? Down four. One of the better. Okay. We're just going to let it go. Yes. Wake up, cannonball from Biohazard. Tekken Master with a jump in again. Biohazard, no. These are reactions, Star Tharma. These are reactions. Jumping in. Giving the nice trade for the projectile for projectile. Wasting Shinnok's meter in that situation. Oh, oh. he tried to bring out the hammer. Shinnok wasn't having it. Uh-oh, can we do Down this? Two. Down two into okay. a full conversion. What's the mix-up? Throw. No throw. Overhead. Oh, he went for the overhead. Okay, great block by Biohazard. He got the throw. Is, is he dead? dead? Is I he dead? He is. That is that it. That is 16%. And then Tekken Master takes the whole set. He I takes, told you, he didn't do bad the first match. He didn't do bad the first match, but I feel like... But no, no, seriously, think about that situation. How often does that happen, that you switch back to a character that you started the set with? Mm -hmm. Like, you have, to, you have to be so comfortable with those characters. Well, someone get the stats for that. We need the stats. All right, we got Braun Hollow World Championship with the $100,000 prize pool in Atlanta, Georgia on November 2017. Get more information at brawlhalla.com slash esports. And a little bit more about Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is like, kind of like a Smash-like game, but it is a free PC game. So if you want to just give, it, give a game a shot, if you think you have skills to, w to learn a game well enough for a Big money tournament in November. Give it a shot. Download it. It's free. I like free. Everyone likes free. And speaking of free, Sonic <laughs> oh, versus no. Star Charger. Hey. Don't say that. Oh, speaking of free, Sonic Fox is there with some okay, guy. Look, it doesn't matter. No. If you're, oh, no, 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 no. It does, I don't care who you are. If you're in that seat next to Sonic Fox, I will probably say it's free. Look at his face. Star, Star Charger's not going for that. 
You know what he said um, when he got to his dressing room? He said, like, I'm not locked in with you guys. You guys are locked in with me. Oh, he gave he us wants Roshak. everyone to know. He gave us the That's Roshak. That's from Watchmen. When he's oh. locked in the jail and then that guy tries to shank him uh -huh. and then he kills him with a grease fire. Yeah, and then he says, you have it wrong. You're not locked in here with me. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. That's where he got it from. Yeah. So he said that he screamed it. <laughs> and he told his pool that he has a ridiculously stacked Injustice 2 pool. And he got he's in winners right now. But here, he's in top 24 of Mortal Kombat X. And he is a force to be reckoned with. He wants everyone to know it. Not definitely true. He wants to be noticed. I ain't mad at him for it. He's a solid player, Katana and Catwoman, both of them. He's been here since MK9. Going strong all the way through Injustice 2. Been here for six years. Was an online warrior before branching off to the tournament scene. Is based in Texas. Goes to their locals. Is a strong Texas player that travels around the South, travels around the country. Goes to all the tournaments he can. Now he's sponsored, so he's going to be everywhere. And he wants you to know his name. He is Star Charger. All right, and this is not a button check. We're going right into it. He plays Assassin Katana. As you guys know, Sonic Fox uses Katana as a counter pick. But right now, he has to face one of the best. Star Charger so far proving me completely wrong, showing that it's not free. He doesn't he's care who free. Sonic Fox is. He doesn't care how much money he's won in this game. And Sonic Fox going in, forcing him to use his breaker. Oh, Sonic Fox getting freed up right now. Yes, sir. By Star Charger. Oh, he went for, he was baiting with the parry there. Sonic Fox was also looking for it himself. Uh, here, here we, we go. Full combo conversion from Sector. Overhead. overhead. What are we going to see yet? He okay. baits it out. Yes, he did. Punishes it with the slide. Overhead again. A, he didn't, I don't know if he wants the combo or wants to get on the other side, but there's a meter burn missile, and there wasn't much he could do there. And Sonic Fox turning that completely around. Didn't even wait for the next round or the next match. He turned it around in that same round. That's why he's the best. Star Charger taking advantage of Sonic Fox's slight impatient tendencies. Keeps him in the corner. Now he can do whatever he wants. Sonic Fox looking for the down three to connect. Star Charger not giving it to him, but he does get hit by a stray missile. Throw into the corner. The back throw. He felt the bait coming out. Mm, great breaker by Sonic Fox. He didn't want to deal with that. That would have killed him, just like this is. He's super dead. Yeah. But now he is out of the corner, so it might have been worth it to use the breaker. I agree. In hindsight, you know, just get out of the corner. Don't die in the corner. Die mid-screen. Way better. Assassin Katana does over 50% in the corner. You don't want those problems. Oh, jumps in. Star Charger gets tossed. Very long throw animation. The jump in from Sonic Fox forces him to use his breaker. The Ooh, down, nice down two. two. This is a no-fly zone. So Get out of here. He tried to parry, but you can't parry air attack, so he got hit. Overhead missiles. That was tracking. Oh, my oh, God. Where did the he go? The body parts went everywhere. Where did he go? Everywhere. Look at Sonic Fox. He is unbothered right now. Look at that face. No celebration. No jumping up and down. No smile. All business. This guy does not care. Sonic Fox is best for business. Great jump back fan by, by Star Charger. Very well aware of, of most players' tendencies at the beginning of rounds, what they're going to want to do right off the gate. Okay. Oh, that was interesting. That was a very strange hitbox. <laughs> Goes into the lift. Neutral jump punch. Stabs him in the face. I like that hop over. Yes, convert that. Into the corner we go. Now Sonic, hard knockdown. Sonic no. Fox finding himself in a bad position in this round. He uses the interactable and gets out. At least he didn't die in the corner. That was very smart. He's like, if I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose in the middle of the screen. So I have some control. Yes, unlike most other round-based fighter fighting games, this game does not reset you back in the middle of the screen after rounds. You have to always worry about the long-term in this game. Long-term positioning. Oh, Star Charger drops his combo. Sonic Fox ready to take advantage of this mistake. Is he ready to steal this round? Overhead he straight into teleport. Time. Remember, he got hit by two of those in a row last game. He did. Sonic Fox connects the throw. Star Charger jumps out and just a wake up. Can we call it a sure you can? Yeah, you can. 
Okay, we're gonna call it a sure you can. Rising fans. <laughs> and that's the first time in this entire set that I've seen Sonic Fox wake up with that with that wake up. Oh okay. tracking missile. Yep. For a nice free mix up. Goes for it again. And tries he's trying to, to chip at this point. Simply trying to chip. Turning it all around now. Let's let's point back at the fact that Star Charger dropped the end of a pretty nice combo, giving Sonic Fox room to breathe and steal that entire round. You cannot make mistakes against the best in the world. You just can't. I know it's easier said than done, but it's still a fact. All right, Sonic Fox checking him all the way there and right, wake up he fans. Did, um, okay, he didn't have the meter to extend that. What yeah. they did, you know, they yeah, yeah. The extra. Okay, exactly. So in this now you have and a lot of a lot of wake up moves. They had they added the ability to, to enhance again to go for a combo. Right. Instead you have of just giving it to you for free. So yeah. no armored launcher in the combos. You have to use two bars for it. So one bar for the armor and then another bar to cancel, go cancel it into an extension. Exactly. And Sonic Fox goes up 2-0 <laughs> over Star Charger. Now if this is indeed 3-0, do not let the score fool you because this is not free. It's not free at all. Star Charger is putting up a great fight, being very aggressive. He's getting some good combos in, but Sonic Fox is just the superior player right now. Making good reads like that. All right, and uh, Sonic Fox just getting mollywopped right now in this round. Star Charger needs to keep this momentum going. He needs to stay on him and not oh, fall for bad. those teleports. There we go. Momentum shift. Katana has the corner and the light lead. And Sonic Fox wants no part of that. Yeah, just wake does up the flamethrower. Yeah, wake up flamethrower. One of the best wake ups in this game currently, in my opinion. Oh, ho, ho. He recognized the whiff throw. Star Charger, it's so heartbreaking. They're just everything. It's just every match he loses. It's just so barely by the skin of his teeth. Right. Like I said, if it's 3-0, it's not 3-0. Because we see Star Charger putting up this great fight. OK, Star Charger showing us a nice uh, demonstration of what combos should look like when you don't drop them. Ooh, nice instant air fan. Overhead, but Sonic, it was Sonic Fox gets him, gets him in the corner. Wake up, rising fans. Once again, he did not have the meter for the extension, but he opened him up again. He's got to finish this. Hey, he it has still to. works. No, he dropped it. He drops it. This the jitters. Death. The jitters. It's death. Does he have the jitters? How many he game winning died. combos Dark does Arma. he have to drop? He dropped the game. Well, the round winning combo. And now he's going to get fatality. Put this on the screen. Oh my gosh, he got sliced. He was <laughs> cut in half. Faction kill. I can hear Sonic Fox on my headset. Oh, she was killed. By, the, by a scythe. All right. That's very unfortunate. And coming up next, we have Foxy Grandpa versus Biohazard. Foxy Grandpa and Biohazard. Yes, sir. Both international players, technically. Can we still, we can call yes, Biohazard Canada international, Canada. It is in North America. Even However, though you it can, is a different country, so even, yes, you can say that. Even though he drove here, did he drive here? He did. Probably, or bust. You can drive here. Drove or bust. That's what he usually does. But a Biohazard versus Foxy Grandpa. I'm not really sure. What's the Ooh, track? Good. What is it? That Kano Ooh, cosplayer. we got a Kano cosplayer in the back. He went out there to shake Biohazard's hand. Can we get a shot of that cosplayer? No, uh, he's there. He right. is. Yes, there get he him is. on the camera. He's there. Round he's, of applause for Kano. He's there to represent. He's there to show off. Oh, he's there to intimidate Foxy Grandpa. Yes. Don't even look, look at he's me. He's got a heart in his hand. Don't even look. Oh. <laughs> That's Foxy's heart. That is Foxy's heart. It ain't going to be free today, boy. That's actually a great cosplay. Yes, it is. He deserves this airtime right now. <laughs> Maybe Biohazard. Biohazard looking at the stream. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to get That's this fantastic. guy's Twitter handle. That's fantastic. So you can follow him. He did an excellent job on his cosplay. He's loving it. He's loving the camera time. 
Oh, yeah, he's, he's soaking it all in. No, he's, he's staying there. He's staying there. He is there. staying there this whole match. That's right. What's up, Foxy? Grant? Biohazard has a mascot, a coach, a cheerleader, all that good stuff. You think you got my boy? Because you don't. You a don't. security guard. All right, look at this. If Biohazard wants him to leave, he can just pick Ferretor. Let's see what he does. Oh, yeah. That'll let's, work. Let's see I what think he does. I would want this assist because that's intimidating and distracting. Like, there's a dude in my peripheral vision. He's huge. He's in a costume, and he's staring at me. <laughs> All right, so Foxy's staying away from Molina. He's going back to Kung Lao. Let me check which variation. All right, is he going to go Tempest? I think. I feel like Biohazard Bio usually goes cybernetic. cybernetic. That's correct. Well, let's talk about cybernetic. How's that amazing projectile when he enhances it? It there's almost nothing you can do. You can try to backdash it, but Biohazard's going to chase you down. Oh yeah. Yes, Kano is staying on stage, ladies and gentlemen. This is hype. Foxy scooted closer to the television so he could get Kano out of his peripheral. No, Bryant told him to get off the stage. No, no. Katana okay. Prime. All right. Abusing his power. <laughs> he wants nothing. Giving else. people the boot. All right. Get off the Let's stage. get to the match. Kano right. has been forcefully escorted off the stage, ladies and gentlemen. But Kano is currently trying to give it to Foxy. Foxy's not having it. Push him to the other side of the. Oh, nice backdash to that back, too. And the jump attack. Look at this. Foxy's looking for that overhead to connect. And Biohazard, I was going to say he was doing a great job of zoning, but he said, you know what? I don't want to zone anymore. I'm just going in, and I'm going to use this meter. And Foxy Grandpa capitalizing from the teleport. Great use of the interactable by Biohazard. Biohazard caught pressing buttons there. He, he blocked the beginning of that string. I really feel like there was no reason to let go of block in that situation. Foxy Grandpa with a fan 4-4 conversion, pushing him closer and closer to the corner. Hard knockdown. He can do whatever he wants. Great, taking great advantage of those plus frames on block. Ooh, oh, look at all those hits breaking the armor too, up the armor interactable. Too many hits. Too yes. many hits for that interactable to actually work. Yes, sir. Whoa, that was interesting. That was very interesting. It looked like Kano just shoved himself right back out and in, into the corner. Well. Player select. Kano, the, the Kano cosplay was not enough. See, what happened was Kano was doing well until Kano got escorted off the stage. This is all Katana Prime's fault. Send all the heat to his Twitter page, at Katana Prime. All right, so now we got a different variation with Kano. This is Commando. In this variation, he has access to command throws, which give him a nice little, uh, an extra element of mix-up. So let's see how Biohazard's going to use this. I feel like he, he realized zoning was not really going to be a great option. So we're going to cut back on the zoning and, and add a little spice to our mix-ups. Great conversion. Belly to belly suplex. Belly to back suplex. That's a German suplex. Another belly to back, sir. Belly to back? Yes. Yeah. I thought that was just a German, German suplex. Is like Oh, just oh, straight up, up, and, and, over, and straight over, straight up? Okay. Straight up and over. If you turn, belly to back. DMS, the wrestling expert. Yes, sir. Overhead by Foxy. He Grandpa. got the 4-4. Four, four. He got it. Yes. Didn't drop it. No, he didn't. Kano's stuck in the corner, but he does have an interactable that he can use. He Ooh, uses the The barrier. clothesline from hell. Belly to back suplex. Into the corner we go. The trade. The trade was hilarious. The trade on the dive kick and the down <laughs> two. Hey, you got to do what that you got to do. That was an oversell. That was a Dolph Ziggler sell right there. Man, this is like a wrestling match. And we do have command grabs and wrestling moves. I'm extra hyped for this. Overhead, giving Foxy full combo. He got his 4-4 four four again. Hard knockdown. Foxy with the throw and Biohazard all over it. Dive oh, kick. Oh, that combo. Oh, wake up, up cut. I don't think I respect it. The down two. Another ability back to face the corner. It's very wise. He's trying to get him in the corner and establish pressure here. B strikes. Shades of Lesnar. Mm, and I love the jump in. The jump and kick into command oh, grab is wake such up, a great tick throw. Okay. Well, that worked out in Fox's favor, even though he blew all of his meter. I'm sure Biohazard's okay with that. I, I, I think so, too. Yeah, he can just get the pressure started. He doesn't have to worry about being interrupted. You know? Yeah, that's punishable. 
He can do full combos now because Foxy has no meter to break. Foxy used another bar. Um, and again, jump in kick is such a great tick throw mechanic for, for following with a command grab. Oh yeah, and that match was just really quick because again, Foxy had no meter to get out of it. He blew a bar and uh, Biohazard just did an optimal combo when he recognized that. Oh, doesn't fully connect with the whole string. Foxy on the offensive now and Biohazard meeting him with the choke, stabbing him in the gut. Gross. Down four, down four on hit is so advantageous on hit. Oh yeah. Into the corner we go. The immediate jump Kano ball, I like it. Ooh, raw spin, no convert. The dive kick for no reason, absolutely no reason for him to do it. And it worked out for him, the very unsafe stuff by Foxy Grandpa. And he goes in with the stand 4-4 conversion. And he got it, mid-screen. Oh, he dropped the ender. The throw. Foxy Grandpa turning it around. All from that wild dive kick. Oh, he ran in and got a hat to the face. That wild dive kick. That's correct. Just caught Foxy that whole round. He was down by so much. Foxy has not dropped his 4 4 this set. He learned, but he's dropping his enders. The spin. It's Foxy. not one thing, it's another. But now, it's okay. Now the pig head is in play, but I guess Biohazard has enough of enough tools at his disposal. Nice meter burn interact. Ooh, caught him whiffing. And the knee chasing down Foxy as he tries to jump away and dive kick. Foxy's playing like a maniac right now. Another crazy dive kick in the neutral game. Yep. Why? Why would you do that? One block, especially against Kano, means so much damage. Neutral jump boots, down four. And a great wake up by Biohazard. Smells Fox's aggression coming from a mile away. And he does it again, it's so quick. No meter necessary. Oh yeah, we all know it's coming, but it's just a matter of what are you gonna do about it. It's no meter necessary for such a great wake up attack. Foxy Grandpa with the big damage in the corner. Hard knockdown, he can do whatever he wants. Back throw, man punches. And that's gonna seal the round for Foxy Grandpa. Foxy Grandpa is on set point. Yes, he is. On the verge, one. he's on the verge of eliminating Biohazard from this tournament. Foxy Grandpa drops it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, he's not gonna stop berating him with strings. Oh man. Biohazard has to be careful. Oh, with the dive kick. it's a great tick throw, but he can jump out of it and fully punish with the dive kick. Went high and got uppercutted. Oh, he meter burned the belly to belly for a combo, but Foxy broke immediately. Got to open up again. Okay. Can't do anything about this one. He went optimal and he got the round. Great execution by Biohazard. Knew the opportunity was there and seized it. Did no, not solid. break a sweat and just remained to be solid. Yes, sir. He's not going down this easy. However, Foxy still is on set point right now. All he needs to do is win this round and avoid going to a final game. Down four goes under the teleport kick. Oh, he got caught ducking. And Foxy dropped his 4-4. Dropped the 4-4, but got did it, it that time. didn't matter. Can we call it an American reset if he's not from America? Sure we can, he's visiting. He's a guest in our country. Can't use our reset though. Foxy Grandpa, hard knockdown as always. Hat twirl, and he baits out something and he goes in for the punish. What a it. smart read by Foxy Grandpa. Ends it with the brutality. Done. You know we're gonna see this. He did it with one hand. I need two fingers to do that. What do you the do? 15, you have to um, do yeah, it 15 yeah. times. Yeah, I do two fingers. It's time for you to step it up then. I'm sorry, I'm a scrub. And that's why you're not there. I know. That's, that's why you're why not in top here. 24. That's why we're back here. Oh, I'm we a scrub too? Okay. We both suck, Darth Arma, and you've been gone for like a year or longer. A whole year. A whole year. Get over it. 
<laughs> All right, so coming up next, we have Forever King Jr., everybody's favorite young master. He's going to be going up against Star Charger. Sounds like it's your favorite player. Not my, he's one of my favorite players. Okay, one of my let's favorite go. Players. Like, I don't think he gets the credit he deserves. I love hyping up players that don't get enough hype. You know, I like talking about the ones that are really good, but the casual mainstream audience doesn't see a lot of. They see the Sonic Foxes, the DJTs, the Slayers, but the mid-upper tier players that don't get a lot of exposure or travel a lot, I like to talk about those guys so people know who to look out for in the future. No, I yeah, yeah, I definitely respect that, and it kind of, you know, it adds a little variety to our mix. I mean, how you used to be that guy, remember? I was that guy. Yes, I was the low tier. Yes, you were that guy at the break that played Batman. I'm like, this guy's Batman is really good he needs to travel he I mean, has this was a while ago yeah yes this is years ago you're washed up now it's okay no, super washed up <laughs> let's keep going all right but yeah you were there before so you know how it feels to come up and yes sir and, and unfortunately for this team this is going to be uh, a team kill no matter what happens here one of these players is going to be out of the tournament but i guess on the lighter side one of these par players are uh, one of these parents yeah somebody's parents are going to be sad cool. and it's funny you say that it may have been a 40 and slip but his dad is right there you see him i see him yeah his dad's right there on the phone he's actually in the stream chat right now it, oh yeah he's trolling the chat he's in there he's, he's like you there. guys better put some respect on my son's name his dad no. is actually hurt <laughs> when he loses forever king jr is one of my favorite pl probably my favorite player under 18 years old um, who who is there? I think it's just that, him. That, 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 <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> all the young guns out there. Sonic Fox is a grown man now, right? He is he, a grown man now. Yeah, yeah. He's in college, he's so legal. he's not he's not in there anymore. But you know, hey, everyone's got to start somewhere. And the sooner you start, the the more time you have to blossom into such a great, magnificent player that is Sonic Fox. Yeah, he started when he was 14, remember? I remember, I remember oh, those yeah. MK9 days. With the naked Molina, flesh pit Molina. Hey, she had a smaller hitbox, right? Oh yeah. Was that the excuse to pick her in tournament? Well, and he was a boy going through puberty. Okay, so, yeah, he's probably you know, using it for that. You know, just to keep it light. But Forever, Forever King Jr. Looking for a new controller, not really sure what's going on, Star Charger. Loving the camera. Give him a shout out. Nice smiling. I like it. I like it. Look at this smile. Oh, the eyebrows. The eyebrow action. He is in there. And shout outs to Gandhi. Gandhi man. Gandhi man. Trying his hardest to keep the NYC scene, NYC scene together. Always down for hosting sessions, barbecues, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it looks like. These guys are ready to go. Forever King Jr. has his pad. Knows what he's doing. Is that your pad? Yes, and like his brother, he plays a multitude of characters as well. At I least five him. in every game. Yeah, I feel like I see a lot of a lot of resemblance to, to, to King. You yes. know, he, he looks up to his older brother, Forever King. That wasn't obvious, Forever King and Forever right. King Jr. I'm uh, trying to put over Forever Franco. To Forever give him Franco. His own identity, you know? I, I don't know, I was I was about to I was about to make a comment on that. Yeah, I definitely yeah. agree with that. Like I don't want him to be in his brother's shadow forever, because he's his own player. He doesn't like play Batman because King plays that. He plays his own set of characters, you know? And he has his own style of play, and it's very exciting to watch. So I want him to make a name for himself instead of just King's brother, King Jr. You know, Forever Franco. That's like Forever Franco. I like yeah. the alliteration. Alliteration. Let's go. You know, that's Let's six. go. <laughs> We're gonna make it stick, ladies and gentlemen. And he plays Fair Tour. Still? Yeah. Baritone. Are <laughs> you sound so disappointed? I mean, <laughs> like, why? All right, no, 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 no. I, 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 I guess a Ferritor just has so many problematic matchups, but I'm not really sure if Katana is one of them. Hopefully not. But uh, Forever Franco, aka Forever King Jr., is uh, hopefully going to have to find a way around this maze and obstacle course of fans just being chucked his way bigger body taking to the air really isn't going to be an option he's got to slowly make his way in and just make the correct reads at the right time uh, he is going with the variation that does come with a fair toss so i guess he he'll have some some way to answer back but for the most part i feel like fair Tour needs to get in and we had to wait for him to queue up taylor swift on his ipod that's definitely what he's listening to. Of course. Very serious. All right, now is this a button checker? Are we going to go right into it? 
We are going right, in right it. into it. Look at those blocks. Look at those down ones. And and Franco and Forever Franco gets the first hit. Yes, sir. Which means he has the meter advantage. And he's using the ruthless variation. Now the ruthless variation does have um, the ability to kind of stab yourself and power yourself up. Yes, sir. There it is. Right the self-stabbing. It takes a little damage, but it's worth the trade. Pain and gain, but doesn't matter. Star Charger getting a full combo. And look at Fair running around in circles, just panicking. Panicking, wants to get back on the car. That is Tor. Star Charger's looking very solid right now. He's definitely one of my favorite Katana players. And right now, Franco's finding himself closer to the corner. Wants his way out, goes for the meter burn, low Ferratoss, it connects, but he doesn't convert it to a full combo, he drops it! And Star Charger taking advantage of this, gets hit with the overhead. Oh, and the toss, the, the hitbox on the toss does go down, it does go away once Fer once Tor gets hit. Great down one by Franco. Now what's very interesting about a character like Ferratoss is that there, his normals change whether fair whether fair is on his back or not. So when fair is off his back, he has a very very quick down one that's not as advantageous on block. And then when fair is on his back, it's it's the opposite. Now Star Charge is very solid here. He's got the corner carry. Oh, nice parry! Hey, that rhyme. And Back Franco to overhead for the finish. Yeah, Franco goes down to the overhead. He wasn't ready for it. Who is? You're always blocking low against Katana. Of course, because low leads to the damage. That low. overhead's just one hit. Low Hard leads to the down. damage, but in that situation, he either option no would have killed him. Exactly. He had no health, so you go with the overhead option because most people block Katana low. Yes, sir. Chucking the fans and chucking Farah. Smart play by Star Charger. Opens him up again. You know, he crossed over so he could get the corner carry. He wants him as close to the corner as possible so he can get this damage. Just as I'm talking about that, he powers up with Sharpen. Sharpen increases the damage of Assassin Katana. That's her special ability. Katana going in. It's only temporary, though. So when you see her eyes turn red, she's powered up. You don't want to get hit by a fan, trust me. Overhead Ferratoss does connect, and Franco getting his aggression on in the corner for a full combo. Look at the down one conversions. It's a 1-1-1. One, one, one. Hard knockdown, goes into command grab. Forever King Jr. looking so much better in this match, but he gets Into hit the by the wake up. Is he gonna use the breaker? Oh, he's got it. Oh no, he dropped it. Mm, he's dead. He charges out of there. I think on blocker, on hit, it would have killed. He needed to finish that combo. Forever King Jr. feeling something out a little too close for that fair toss. But for, yeah, but fortunately he does get the down one conversion. Oh, and I love the big boot. Bates out the parry, but he just wasn't there 100% execution-wise. I feel like he just kind of dropped it there. I saw some weird staggered buttons. I didn't like it. I didn't like what I saw. I think he waited a little too long. And low fair toss. No reason not to do it. Overhead fair toss. Oh, the low one just a little too late. Knocks her out of the air. She tries to use a bar to float cancel into an overhead. The extra bar, excuse me. Star Charger using the interactables, using everything at his disposal. Throwing, chucking fans, chucking lanterns. Nice interruption by Franco. Oh, Ooh. and the brutal. Nasty brutality. Where did she go and why was she made out of nerds? <laughs> um, all her guts are splattered everywhere. All that's left is her head. Franco doing a great job of adjusting. Didn't really have to change anything. Didn't have to change variations. Just had to change mindsets. Yes, sir. All right, Forever King Jr. blocking the overhead, but getting hit by the second one. Katana forced to use that breaker. Katana has no bar, and Ferrator is free to wreak havoc with these combos. Look at this damage, 37% for one bar. That's a steal. Okay, 
Okay, not getting too much from there because he doesn't have far at his disposal. But gets a nice conversion. This is the round for Forever King Jr. Very nice conversion by Franco. Nice smoke cancel, didn't get interrupted that time. Throws Farah, gets caught with this combo. Points him towards the corner, you know why. Star Charger getting something going. He drops oh, the end of the no, combo. he dropped the ender. He dropped the ender and Franco was ready to there with down one. Ready to press a button, not ready to keep blocking. Right, always be prepared for your opponents to drop their combo. You don't want to put your hands at rest. And then blow an opportunity. Great fair toss by Franco. Finding his groove, finding his way in, and taking the lead two to one. Franco, one more game. Strong adjustments by Franco. One more game away and from advancing into top eight. Top eight losers. This means a lot to Star Charger, so he's gotta make some changes. This, this means a lot to either player. There's so many, this late into the game, you have nothing but killers. That is true, but I mean, you know, Everyone's you hate to say one player wants it more than the other, but I know for a fact Star Charger needs this in his heart. Like, he's been very vocal about being respected, being noticed, being recognized as a killer in his pool. But he's got to show it. Yeah, no, this, is, this looks like it's all over for Star Charger. He needs to shake it off. He needs to adjust. Franco with a great conversion, so many down ones. Farah with the assist, pain and gain, and a great throw by Star Charger, turning the tides, putting Franco in the corner. Franco just gets up and command grabs, wake up, putting him back in the corner. Star Charger Ooh, using the sharpens. Our eyes are red. You don't want to get hit by fans. No, you, you don't. You don't want to get hit by fans. He got hit by a fan. Luckily, he didn't jump. That would have been bad. Oh, and the overhead. Franco the on the verge of making his way to top eight, and he there does with the overhead. Veritas makes his way to top eight. Star Charger is eliminated. And Star Wait, Charger is not happy about that. Not he looks really disappointed. And Franco does not, not seem to be hyped at all for making it at the top eight. Like I said, Star Charger in his head wanted it more. Emotionally, he wanted it more. But Franco was just a blade of prayer there, and he proved wanted it more with his actions. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching Top 24 of MKX. But don't go anywhere. We're just going to take a small break, and we'll be right back with Top 8.